So if you're kind of around my age and you played on Xbox predominantly, you probably remember the Star Wars Battlefront franchise. And that's what we're gonna talk about. We're gonna talk about Battlefront and what I think is gonna happen with the future of the franchise. Now, before we get into that, make sure you subscribe to the channel. It really helps out. For those who don't know, Star Wars Battlefront is coming back, but like a port, an updated port, which I'm actually really excited for. Um, and I think a lot of people are really excited for based off some numbers that I pulled. But anyways, I'll get into that in a minute. Disney is bringing back the Star Wars Battlefront franchise. Now, again, for those who don't know, Star Wars Battlefront came out years ago, like in the early 2000s. And it was a game that really focused mostly on the clone troopers, the stormtroopers, the rebels in the empire. This was during a time period where they were still making Star Wars movies, but they had all these games out here that were just really different and didn't focus so much on the Jedi, but they focused on other things too, just the entire lore. One of my favorite games ever was Star Wars Republic Commando, bring that back. It was just fun. You, you know, playing this game with your friends, whether you did System Link. If you guys remember System Links, you're the real MVPs there. If you were fortunate enough to get on an internet connection, have a decent one, you know, you play on that, or you just play local with the computers or, you know, whatever. And those computers were pretty rough back then. But anyway, getting off topic. Um, the point of all this is, it was a really fun game. I enjoyed it. I played so much out of this game, especially with all my friends. Now, the game was popular. We were going to get a Battlefront 3. And if you go online, you can actually see there was a Star Wars Battlefront 3 that was made. I don't remember if it was Disney that canned it or if it was just like money management that was going on with LucasArts at the time. But ultimately the game got canned. We never got it, which kind of sucks. There's a bunch of videos online what happened to it. I just don't remember off the top of my head. Fast forwarding to today. Disney is bringing the game back with Aspire. I think that's what they're called. I always jack up that company's name, but they make a lot of the old Star Wars ports. They did Knights of the Republic. They did Republic Commando. And now they're doing Battlefront, for example, just to name a few. And this is actually very exciting because not only are they bringing it to modern consoles. Now you can already play Star Wars Battlefront 1 and 2 on the Xbox Series systems, but you know, the online play did not work. It's totally offline because it's just using backwards compatibility with actually allowing you to now play up to 64 players, but not only just on the Xbox for the first time ever, because I don't think the PlayStation had the Battlefront games. You can now play on the PlayStation. I believe there's a Switch port, and obviously there's also one on PC. Now, I already own the Battlefront games on Xbox and PC myself. The fact that you're now able to play this game with 64 online players across this game is actually gonna be really, really exciting, interesting. Now, here's the thing. There's so, so, so much hype that's going around this game in particular. It's so much hype is going around it that if you actually look at some of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth's like recent trailer, like you can go look at the PlayStation trailer for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. It's actually funny because if you go to Final Fantasy's YouTube account and you look at a trailer that they posted like just a few weeks ago, Star Wars Battlefront for PlayStation, their PlayStation trailer at least, has significantly more views. And keep in mind, this is a game that's gonna be multi-platform, so there's all these different systems that divide those numbers in half. So like, say for example, this game is going on PlayStation. So there's a PlayStation version to this trailer. There's an Xbox version to this trailer. You know, there's one from Aspire, IGN posted them. So, you know, it's gonna split the numbers in half. It has more than a PlayStation 5 exclusive game. It has more views on it, just for the PlayStation version. That, can, that should give you an idea of how excited people are for this game. Um, and hopefully Disney takes notice to this. Hopefully Disney's actually looking at this and I feel like they are. I feel like if this game sells well, and I think it will, I think most people are gonna buy it. It's not even an expensive game to be honest, it's like $40. You can get a little bit cheaper depending on a few different things, but for the most part, it's about $40. I feel that this is going to open the door to Battlefront 3. Now, first off, Battlefront 3 is already done. You know, it's probably sitting on someone's like, I don't know, hard drive somewhere randomly. Now, now, I'm not saying that it actually will go back and do that game. I really wish they would. This game has so much of a high demand behind it. I don't, it wouldn't make sense for Disney not to do a Battlefront game moving forward. I know that they probably was a little leery with EA's Battlefront, but I think this is almost Disney's way of testing the waters to see how we actually care about this franchise. Do we want to go back to it? And the fact that a game that's like, what, 20 years older or close to it has this much hype around it should be evidence right there alone that this is a franchise that, you know, Disney needs to be cashing in on because there's just money sitting on the table. The question for you guys, you can comment down below in the, in, in the comments. What would you want? Would you want a brand new Battlefront game just made from scratch 
Or would you want the Battlefront game that we already know is pretty much done? It not only is it done, it has everything that we wanted in a game. You know, one of the biggest things that people raved about was the ability to be on a planet and just travel straight into space. Just, you know, you can take the fight straight into space. And that's something that a lot of people actually wanted and they actually put it in Battlefront 3. But again, we never got the game. It had a much more in-depth story mode campaign in this game. I don't remember what the story behind it was, but did have a more in-depth story mode behind it. So, you know, you're gonna have features like that as well. Or would you want them to take the approach like they did before with EA? Not saying use EA, but they took the approach with EA. It just made a whole new like reboot franchise to it. Personally, me, myself, give me the Battlefront that we supposed to get all those years ago because I already know it's gonna be a good game and I know it's like it's pretty much done. There's nothing to worry about. Now, would they, could they? I don't know. I really don't know. But I don't know if I really want another company doing Battlefront. Now, in the event that we do get a company to do Battlefront, I, I've been seeing a lot of people online talk about like, you know, who should do the next Battlefront game. And one, do not give it to EA. EA has, look, they had their chance. They had two chances and they could not get it right. You can blame it on EA themselves and DICE just couldn't do it because of EA. For me, it was not the microtransactions. It was not the loot boxes that ruined the game. The game just did not have the same heart and emotion that the old games did. The fact that you had like, you know, and I don't know what the reason is, which is really weird because these are the developers that make Battlefield. But the fact that you couldn't just run into a vehicle just bothered me so much. You know, like again, they make Battlefield where their vehicles are throughout the map and things like that. The fact that I just couldn't jump in a vehicle when I wanted to land, you know, the vehicle wherever I want to hit an objective up real quick, then jump my vehicle and take off, bothered the life out of me. There's something that you can do in the old Battlefront games. There's something that you can do in Battlefield. But in EA's Battlefront games, you couldn't. Little weird things like that just drove me up the wall. So I don't think EA should be behind it. I heard people say Activision should be behind it. I don't want Activision. I don't want the Call of Duty team to do it. I'm sorry. You know, they make relatively good games. Call of Duty for what it is is a good game, but I don't want them doing it. Even 343. I am enjoying Halo Infinite so much. One of my favorite games. I don't want them touching it. If, if you have asked me right now, who do I want to actually make another Battlefront 3 game if we was to get that or a reboot Battlefront? Will be Arrowhead. Arrowhead right now is the only studio I can even remotely think of that is doing multiplayer just so right and just hitting it across the board. The amount of good that Helldivers 2 is getting, like, me and my wife was playing the last night. The game is beyond fun. Like, even if you're just getting whooped, the game is fun. And that alone is testament to what a good multiplayer battle for Star Wars Battlefront is. And uh, there's a lot of aspects of Star Wars in Helldivers, which makes it a little bit more appealing to me. Like I said, I feel like this is Disney's way of just testing the water to see, do we want Battlefront? If this game sells, and it sells really well, I feel like Disney is going to either give us one or the other. Like I said, pull the old Star Wars game back or give us a new one. And that's where I'm hoping, I'm hoping we get something out of it. The, the Battlefront series definitely needs to return. It's a fun as heck series to play. Um, and it's just fun to just play with your friends, play with people online. Arrowhead, the best studio, the best studio hands down. EA just cannot handle that task. They need to work on getting their own IP together, which is Battlefield, before they need to go try to do someone else's um, someone else's franchise. And on top of that, EA does, it's gonna be like another 17 years before we see that game, because they gotta drop a Battlefield game, which I know Battlefield is probably coming relatively soon in reality, but let's just leave Battlefield to dice right now. Let's just see how well this game does. I think this game is going to do really well. There, there's no doubt in my mind that this game is not going to do well. The Star Wars Battlefront, you know, Collector's Edition. What I'm surprised about this game is that they didn't include like the PSP games onto this one. There was like a couple of Star Wars Battlefront PSP games. It's going to make a collection, just do the whole collection, but whatever. I don't care. I'm just looking forward to this. I will definitely be playing it, streaming it, all that stuff when the game comes out. I think it comes out next month on the 14th or something like that. I'm going to be doing a lot of videos on that because I really love that franchise. But comment down below what do you guys think. I'm really interested to see what your thoughts and opinions are on this. Do you, one, want another Battlefront game? And if you do, like, give me the studio. Who do you think should actually be making this game? And why do you think that that studio is a good studio to actually make this game? The fact to see old form games come back is actually very interesting. We are in a weird time period right now. And I'm going to say this mostly for another video. But we're in a super weird time period where these double A type of games or these old games are actually being more popular. This is going to show a lot of the industry that the live service model that companies have been trying to do for so long 
is not where it's at. We don't want all these live service games. We don't want all these big AAA, God of War, Spider-Man type games. Like, yeah, they're fun. We enjoy them, but we don't need every game that. Games like Helldivers, games like Power World, games like Star Wars Battlefront from a bajillion years ago. As long as we're having fun, yes, a good story is nice. We all want a good story, but not every game has to be that. Sometimes you just wanna come home, sit down on your couch and play with your friends and just have fun. Just sheer fun, turn your brain off, don't have to worry about nothing in too in depth. And in reality, Helldivers is hard and it is sweaty. I don't look at it as like a Twitch streamer ruining my day sweaty, you know? Same thing like with Power World, don't have that problem. Now maybe Battlefront, you might, I don't know, but we'll see when that game comes out. Anyways, comment all that down below. I'm interested to see what you guys think and feel about all of this. And like I said, I really feel like there's gonna be another Battlefront game if this game sells well. I just really feel like this is them testing the waters to see how we react to this and how we actually feel about this. Because in reality, why wouldn't they come out with an actual Battlefront game if this game sells in the millions? And I would laugh if it does. Will it actually happen? I don't know because it is an old game and you have a lot of younger people that don't even know what this is. But I think like my generation alone is gonna make this game sell. They partner with Limited Run and make a physical release for this. I know a lot of people are gonna even buy this game like just to have the physical version of this as well. So like I said, I think this game's gonna sell really, really well. And I'm excited for this game, can't wait. My wife has never played these games before. So as soon as this game comes out, I'm gonna be having her play this with me. We're gonna have all nighters on this. I know I'm kind of rambling, I've been rambling for a minute, but this is actually something really exciting. And the facts do kind of line up to the fact that we're probably gonna get a Battlefront 3 if everything works out well with this. But like I said, comment down below what do you feel about all this. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel and I will catch you all in the next one. See ya.